I look very tan today. A little orange in the back. What's happening? Here's the situation. I really wanted to make Christmas cookies for you guys. I took a poll on Instagram. Most of you asked for snickerdoodles. I've never had a snickerdoodle. I researched, I wrote a recipe, I tested it four times. They're disgusting. This is the raging disaster of a kitchen. These are the horrible cookies, Satan cookies, which we're gonna call them. These devil cookies are the bane of my existence. Like, what are you? Why are you so thick? I've done so many batches and you're all terrible. Die. So, <laughs> it's 11 o'clock at night. I have a shoot at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I'm supposed to shoot a holiday dessert. Wish me luck. Hey guys, it's Candice the Edgy Veg, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite cookies for the holidays, a toasted coconut chocolate cookie. cookies are my take on like the Girl Guide Samoa cookies, but without the shortbread cookie underneath. It's one of my favorite cookies. I'm so excited. My mom used to make a version of this when I was growing up in Germany. Love, love, love. Anything dipped in chocolate is a win for me. So let's get baking. So it's my first holiday uh, alone. So I've been a bit of a Grinch this year, but nothing, no matter how much I'm protesting the holidays, will stop me from baking a couple cookies. Now, you guys know that I'm a terrible baker. I don't like to bake a lot. I don't do a lot of baking on this channel for that reason, but it's the holidays and I feel like one recipe out of like five is gonna turn out. So the base of the cookies is toasted coconut. To get a nice caramel flavor, I'm also adding some dates that I've chopped or processed in the food processor, whatever is easier for you. I put it in the food processor because I'm lazy. And then those cookies are drizzled and dipped in chocolate because if it doesn't have chocolate, is it really a cookie? I think not. The first thing we are going to do is heat a dry saucepan over medium high heat, and then we are going to add our coconut. This is how I'm going to toast my coconut, so I'm just adding the coconut into the pan and then keeping the pan moving. So keep the coconut stirring constantly, keep it moving until it gets a little golden brown and you can really smell it. It's going to make the room smell so good. It's one of my favorite smells in the whole wide world. So I'm toasting that for about two to three minutes. You wanna remove that from the heat right away because it's going to keep cooking and you don't want it to burn. You can even keep mixing it here just to help cool down the coconut flakes and stop them from cooking. While our coconut is cooling down, let's make the base of our cookies. I'm using my stand mixer today, but you can just use a bowl and an old fashioned wooden spoon and some elbow grease. It works just as well. To our bowl, I'm going to add three quarter cups of brown sugar, one tablespoon of ground flax a third of a cup of vegan butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, a third of a cup of almond milk, and then I'm going to give that a good mix. Mix that until it's nice and smooth, and then we are going to add our dry ingredients. Now I'm going to add one cup of unbleached white flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to give that a good mix again. Now you're going to want to fold in the toasted coconut. And then we are going to add in our dates. And this is what's going to give these cookies a delicious caramel flavor. And there we have the base of our cookies. Now I've heated my oven to 350 degrees and I've lined a baking sheet with a baking mat. You can also use parchment paper. I just love silicone baking mats because they are eco-friendly and nothing sticks to them ever. And you can keep reusing it over and over and over and over again. Now using a spoon, I'm going to measure out one tablespoon of cookie and because roll, I did not have a coffee this morning. I'm going to roll that in my hands and then place them on the baking sheet. Then I'm going to take a fork and you can either dip this in water or some flour and I'm just going to push the fork onto the cookie to flatten it out a little bit. Now these cookies are going to go into the oven to bake for about eight minutes. You want the bottoms to be slightly golden brown, but you don't want the cookie to be super browned. Once those have cooked, you wanna take them out and let them sit on the baking sheet for about five minutes to cool until you can handle them. Once you're able to handle them, place them on a cooling rack and let them cool completely. I'm just gonna line my cooling rack with parchment paper. You can also just use the cooling mat. Why is someone always dying when I'm filming? 
While I'm waiting for my cookies to cool, I am going to create the chocolate drizzle. I am going to just use vegan chocolate chips. I'm going to put them into a microwave safe bowl and throw them into the microwave, cooking them at 30 second intervals. Now I'm going to cook them for 30 seconds, take them out, give them a good mix, put them back in for another 30 seconds, take them out, give them a good mix, and continue until the chocolate is completely melted. To make the chocolate super workable and give it a nice glossy sheen, I'm going to add two tablespoons of coconut oil and give that a good mix until it's smooth and our cookies are ready to be dipped. We are going to dip our cookies one by one into the chocolate and then place them onto the baking mat or parchment paper. After all our cookies are dipped, I'm just going to take a spoon and drizzle chocolate across all of the cookies. Now you want to place those cookies into the refrigerator at least until the chocolate is hardened. I like to do this for a couple hours. Once your cookies are firm, they are ready to be enjoyed. Look how cute they are. They're so delicious. The combination of coconut and chocolate is one of my all-time favorites. It brings me right back to childhood. I know that you guys are really, really going to love them. Oh my god. These guys keep in the fridge so well too. So if you want to make cookies like a few days ahead of time, a week ahead of time, you can totally make them, keep them in the fridge so that they stay fresh and they are Oh my god, they're so good. All right, guys, I hope you like this recipe. Let me know what you guys are making for the holidays down in the comment section below. If you like this recipe, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. If you are new here, hi, welcome. Please take the time to hit, oh, spitting everywhere. Please take the time to hit that subscribe button so that you get notified every time I put out a new video. And I will see you next time. Bye. Mmm, Santa's gonna love these.